All right, so we are back with another play of the game bingo. This is a, a bronze play of the game bingo where we have a bronze Sigma. Now, this time around, we went through and we kind of reset the card a little bit. We have a couple things from uh, previous cards. We went and reset. Usually we'll have like a hero on here. You know, we'll be like, oh, like Genji. Don't have that now. We don't have Genji, right? Oh, did I say play of the game bingo? We are doing a... Uh, welcome to the... To Huber will edit this out. Well, we... Okay, welcome back. We are doing another spectating bingo. Spectating a Brawn Sigma. Basically, this time around, there isn't going to be any heroes on here. Um, obviously, they're going to be like a certain thing that would require a hero. So we have new stuff on the bingo card, which I will... Read off the current bingo. Actually, no, you know, let's see how the bingo card goes. For anybody wondering, for example, the ultimate do domino. What is the ultimate domino? That is when one person ults, the rest of the, the team ults. A little bit different, you know? Uh, usually we say everyone else, but now it's like someone else, someone else does. Um, the three question marks are actually three brand new ones we've never done on the bingo card. I'm ready. It's time. We're going to be watching the, uh, the uh, bingo card here. What am I watching the bingo card? What am I even saying? Here we go. I feel like every single time we do a bingo card, I always starts with, I have never seen people really set up here. I cannot believe there's a Soldier 76, a Moira, and a Widowmaker top left. It's like, I swear, every time. Because the, the, the spots that are held are like a lot, like are so interesting and where like teams will hold. Like, look where the Ana's at too. This is okay if people are like stacked over here, but like this Ana's gonna have to peek around the corner, be able to LOS and heal. I can already see what's gonna happen on this first team fight. I can already see. Okay, you know what's amazing about this right here? And this kind of really describes some of the play styles that we've seen. I love how there's just two Moira DPS orbs going past each other. I feel like that's really gonna show you what's gonna happen in this game right here. Just, just two Moira orbs. Wait, why is there two? Did Genji deflect one? From who? Did they have a Moira to start? Four, three, two. Oh, what, what is this? My game crashed. I, 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 even my game was like ready to just crash. Like, what was? To I think the Moira orb crashed my game. Okay, let's go back let's now. Play. Okay, is there a Moira orb out there now? Let me look. Okay, there isn't. There isn't. Just to make sure. There's only one Moira orb now. Okay, we're off to a great start already. This is going to be a great video. All right. We got a Sigma. Uh, Moira's apparently dead. Uh. But see, like, that's what I mean about the setup. Look what happens when they set up there. It just isn't a good spot to go most of the time because there's no escape outside of having to run towards where they would go. Setup-wise, I would not recommend setting up there. I, I just think, like, overall, not the best setup area. Better to use your rock when you see Arisa Gold. I do it sometimes too, like it's like the time is right, but like Arisa was about to go with that. <laughs> so if we look here, I love that. I, what I love about that immediately is Ana sleeps the Arisa and you do exactly what so many of us do, right? If we're if we're playing Ana, someone wakes up our sleep, we're like, why'd you wake up my sleep? Seriously. We're not playing Ana and Ana sleeps somebody, we shoot somebody and go, oh, well, I wanted the L charge. <laughs> Nice yep rock. <laughs> what just happened? Oh, is it the card bug? I thought they fixed that. I thought they fixed that. Watch. <laughs> I thought they fixed that! Wait, what? Nice job! So far, like... Your position has been pretty good. No complaints so far. Like, this has been pretty decent. This has been pretty decent. Actuating the barrier! Okay, so. 
I like the idea of your shield, but hear me out, okay? Sometimes you can have your shield closer and it'll block off multiple angle angles. Remember that. So like the idea was you block off the widow shield. What does the widow do? Go to a different spot. If you put your shield in a decent spot where it can block off both of those sight lines, for the most part, it'll actually be really good for your team. That shield will get value on that side if they peek that side, but you can, you can have your shield back a little bit further. So far, it's been kind of a, kind of like a normal start to like Circuit Royale. It's actually quite interesting. Oh no, we got the... We got the frontline support right here, chat. I'll tell you that much. I'll tell you that much. We got the frontline support right here. <laughs> That Ana went in. Ana did not care one bit. That is definitely on the bingo card, too. I know frontline support is. There we go. Look at that. Got something off the bingo card. Here we go. Have we seen a nano yet? I want to see something here. Oh, surprisingly, that Ana died there, by the way. Okay, so Sigma does have all here, but I would not use this all. I would just back away. Yeah, you're going back to spawn. First live bingo, welcome. Did a frontline support a backline tank? I wouldn't quite say backline tank yet. What does that mean by backline tank? Oh, you'll know when we see a backline tank. Don't you worry. Huh. Huge. Nice play. Good all. I, I really, honestly, like, so far, it's been pretty good. Okay, so, you can move off the cart. Remember how we talked about backline tank? We have found the backline tank. You don't want to get off cart. You want to get off cart and take map control here. Listen, I know that sometimes in my games, I have to play that, but unless you have your objective, uh, your, da your daily here to get the objective time, I'm telling you right now, you want to go and take map control and create space for your team. The further up you are, the better, right? The further up, the better. But I am going to consider this a backline tank because you definitely should be up there creating space for your team. So backline tank is checked off. Now the question is, is will you become a very aggressive tank at some point? We'll find out. But you know what? So far, an interesting start to this game. It's been a very like, I would say chill circuit royale. Okay, you see how like you're out of range right now? If you are taking map control, you don't have to wait for them to come in your range. You can you can bring the damage to them. Rock. Oh, that's a huge blade. That's gonna that is a blade. Let's go. Huge nano. Who got nano? I didn't even see. What in the Arisa ult? Oh, here we go. Popping the ults. Pop in the ult! Wait, what? Okay, see you later, bye! Ult after the fight is lost? If that's on the bingo card, we're checking that off. They, well, they lost that fight, and Arissa went in. So, we can pause right there, go to the card. Ult in after a team fight is one slash loss. That Arissa was not gonna win off of that. But that's a classic, right? How often do you see Arissas in a lot of these games? And honestly, it can be in any rank where, like, you, you can tell that this is just not, nothing's gonna happen, right? Like, you're not gonna win the team fight. Arissa goes, you know what? I'll show you, I'll show you that I can win this team fight. I'm going in and I'm gonna ult five. Yeah, we're down three. I don't care, I'm going in. My ultimate pulls them into me and I can, they can run out of it and I can get one. And then what are you gonna say about that, right? Hit, hit tab. We have two limbs right now, I have two of them. Therefore, that ultimate was worth it. Cause then you can look at the scoreboard and be like, yeah, I popped off. We have two limbs total and I, I,
love that team fight. That was just, we're gonna sit there and do a bunch of random stuff, and eventually something's gonna happen. No one limb ult? Yes. Soldier 76 ulted that, right? That's a no one limb ult. Good call. Sorry, I didn't even notice the soldier was ulting because it was a soldier 76 ult. Let's be honest. Half the time you soldier ult, you're just doing that so you can just be like, wee, I can build my ult again, right? Half the time you soldier ult just so you can start building your ult again, so you have something to do. Almost time for a graphitic flux. Map control. Map control is important here. You want to push up a little bit. I know your teammates are there. Your teammates will get the cart for you. You can push up a little bit. Your teammates will help you push the cart after. You go. I checked off the wrong one. Here we go. Back away a little bit. You can use your to help your teammates out. Good out. Good out. Good blade. And there it is, chat. The absolute classic that might have to go on the next bingo card. Arissa runs in and just ults after a team fight is lost. I'm telling you right now. They win that fight. It got two, it got two limbs. Oh, it did. Don't get me wrong. But guess what? This cart now moves up here a little bit. And what in the world is happening back here? All right. Shield up halfway, halfway. There you go. That's a good shield. I like that shield. Well played. A rock is fine. You missed, but that's, that was a good shield. That's an ash. That's an ash. Nice job. You have rock. Time's a long time. interesting game because this game goes to 25 minutes chat that was a quick attack what in the world happens in this game that this goes to a 25 minute game i need to know So, here's the thing. The Genji wants to get the Widow, but what happens if you're Genji and you go to this far back and spawn? Isn't that Genji spam and I need healing right now? Come on, sing the Okay, so far, what has happened in this game? How does this get to 25 minutes? So far, your team has been absolutely destroying them. What happens here? Where'd the Bastion come from? Okay, now I would say Genji was out of LOS here of heals, but Genji's still up, so. Yeah, yep, rock. So this is bronze. You know what? I like your commitment to that ultimate. I like your commitment to that ultimate. That is a solo ult, by the way. See, now we check off the solo ult box. I like your commitment to that ult ultimate. You know? It, 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 you, you... 
Why is Genji always in the back line? I don't understand. Can anybody even heal the Genji? That is a Sigma Flux in their spawn aggressive? Result. You know what? Yeah, good call. That is a very aggressive tank. I will say that's a very aggressive play by the Sigma to ult a Bastion in their spawn by themselves with their very aggre ag aggressive Genji. Yes, I, I agree with that one. That, that is a good, good find on that. Oh, here we go. Is this the ult domino? We, just, we need Kiriko ult for the ult domino or a blade. Come on. Come on, go ult. Oh, Rissa, you know you want to go and ult that. Oh, you know you want to ult this. Oh, nice. Job. Actually, oh, there's Kazune. Got to blade this. I think I think we need a blade right here to really take this fight back. Let's go. It's blade time. Let's go, Genji. Nope. Oh, there's the Arisal. Is it blade time? I have no idea how that didn't work. I feel like that is perfect. Also, chat, I'm out of curiosity. How many of their team was on objective during that? I need to see something. Yeah, I was gonna say. That's literally five on cart. No one's going for map control. I say that is everyone is on the objective. Let's go. Yeah, surprised they didn't get anybody. All right, now all we need now is a nice Kitsune. Countered by Widow Walls, and I'd say that was the Elf Domino. Try to save your Eat for Bastion, because Bastion can do a lot of damage during that, but if you save your Eat, it gives you a lot of overshield when you eat the damage. Okay, let's just, just circle back for a second here. All right. Looks like we have an amazing team fight here. Good job. Everybody's, you know, good job disengaging. Um, nice play. Genji might get a little bit aggressive here. I like what you're doing. Everybody's playing back, playing smart, playing the corners here. Looks like Genji's going to start going in. And that's, that's not a bad play going for the flank. And let's see what else we have. Oh, and Ana is now running into their spot. And... What in the world was the Ana doing right there? You know what's happening? You're right. That Genji is spamming, I need healing. You know what's, here, I'll, I'll tell you the, this is what's happening, you ready? I need healing, I need healing, I need healing, I need healing. Okay, you need healing, here's a heal. Here's a heal, here's a sleep too while I'm at it. That, that's what's happening right there. Good job disengaging here. I would wait on Ultimus. I would not ult this because it would, it would do, go to the point there. You can go to the point. You can go to the point. You can touch the point. We don't even have a Venn diagram out. Who is this Bastion? You're supposed to Venn diagram out on the bingo card. My, oh yeah, here we go. Oh, let's see all the else. It's ult domino time. Come on. We need Kasune here, I think. Nope, okay. Here's my take, chat. I think that team could have easily touched right there. And I think they could have gotten a lot more time with the ults that they had. I'm gonna check this box off. I do believe that the team didn't get on the point when they could have, which results in them not winning the rounds, which not contesting the point due to them not getting on the objective, which would have resulted in a victory for the team, which would have resulted in a victory or a contestant of the point or capture of the point, which would have then got the ultimates out from their team, but instead gave value to the other team on that one. So I'm gonna check that box off. All right. Can I read that again? No. What you want to do now to stop this snowball is to try to take an either an early team fight or set up back. You don't want to go push up too aggressively right now because they can just snowball and win the team fight. So if you're going to play here, play aggressive with your own, all right? Here we go.
Why did that... Why was there a Suzu there? Because this could just be randomly used ability. I have to double check this. Nope. You were purple. I understand the reason behind it. Good help. Good help. Be careful of the Arissa. Be careful of the Arissa. That's what you can do. Oh, here we go. Use Nano. Pop your ultimates. Let's go. You know what I absolutely love right here? I love the commitment by the Orisa to try to get the Sigma and the Sigma's commitment to not trying to get the, the Sigma. Like, watch this. Like, watch, like, the point of view of Orisa and then watch Sigma. Watch this. So here's the L, and, and, and Sigma's like, I'm getting that Kiriko. I'm getting that Kiriko. Okay, look at Orisa. Stop! Get away from my Kiriko! Get away! I don't care. I'm getting that Kiriko. No! That's, I protect my team. You stay there. No, I'm getting the Kiriko. Back up! No, nope. get in the Kiriko. Excuse me. Excuse me. All right, I'm backing away. They got my teammates. Also, when you don't contest the cart and you let them go to your backline, this is what will happen. They will push the cart. Oh, here we go again. Run! You said ult? Yeah, I mean, honestly, at this point, we've already had an ult dom domino. It's happened already at some point. We're gonna we're gonna check it off. It always happens that way, the ultimate domino. Hear me out, chat. Do you think the Genji was LOS in the heels a lot? I have a feeling that, like, in my opinion, I really think the Genji was LOS in the heels a ton, and the supports had to find ways to get into LOS. I, I actually know, I think the Genji was constantly out of position, so like the supports had to find ways to get into LOS. If your Genji's in the back line 24 seven and your Ana has to run it down mid to heal your Genji. I would say that means the Genji's out of LOS. And the Ana had to do it twice. I'm gonna check that box off. Some might be like, well, maybe you need to see it more. I think that is exactly what we're seeing. All right, did we get the question marks yet? No. I'm gonna watch for one of the question marks now that I remembered what, one, what, what they were. There's a chance we get one. Toxic Wolf, thanks for the two months of tier one. Thank you, appreciate it. Attackers incoming. Oh, you're right, honestly. So that whole, the whole second team fight, you're right, that was. I actually agree with you. That was a really long team fight. But, I mean, the whole game's a really long team fight at this point. <laughs> I want you to start playing like here on a lot of team fights. And what I mean by here is I mean, see where you're at now with your positioning. I want you to, unless they're obviously right here, I want you to start seeing what happens when you push up just a little bit further. And I, I think it will help a lot because one strength of Sigma is constantly being able to catch the team rotating. So when you play a little bit further up, not to the point where you're feeding, but if you play a little bit further up, you're gonna get more value on the team when they rotate, especially you'll get more value on Sigma when you just just play a little bit. I'm not even talking like, don't be up here. Like, hey, what's going on? Like, don't play what the Genji was. But say you're like right here, you have the ability to spam this way. So I just had to talk about that because you've been playing the cart a lot, um, which obviously if you have to push the cart, you can, but just keep starting to do that more and more. All right? Interesting res. Mercy just res the middle of the team. Wait, did Mercy revive in the middle of the team? I have to see. Wait a second. This is amazing. Oh, 
Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That, that, that. Mercy revives in the middle of the team. That, that right away. Oh yeah. That is that is happening. See what I mean, though? That's where, like, taking just a little bit of map control, okay? Just a little bit of map control can make a huge difference in how your team fights. I'm not saying if you played a little bit more aggressive there, but imagine you being able to put that damage output to their back line and they can't commit all of, like, the ability to get to them. The Arista goes in, feeds a little bit more. So, yeah. Save your rock when you know they have ultimates. You can interrupt. You can you can rock the ult. What is? Oh, here we go. Oh, we want to see an ult domino. Good job. All right, we're gonna talk about this for a second. I'm, I'm just. This is more of like teaching teaching something on this one. When they when you see Kiriko use Suzu already. I want to show you something, okay? What do you see? Suzu's already gone. So what happens if you do two shots to this Kiriko, give or take? You get free limbs. So when you see a Kiriko use Suzu, don't wait for the Kiriko to land on the ground. Aim your cross here at the Kiriko and get the limb. You will get the Kiriko and win the team fight. But remember, that's different if they haven't used Cleanse yet. Then there could be a time where it won't work. But always try to get that 50% damage in. Because the way it works is when they land, if they have 50% HP or less, it's an instant limb. What in the world's happening on cart right now? I just want to talk about this. What is happening? Where? What is... Who's pushing the card? Who's on attack? Who's on defense? Where's the other people on the team? Where's... Where... Okay, so we have a question mark completed on this one, Chad, just so you know. We have a question mark that is completed. Now, let me open up the bingo card here because I want Chad to guess on this one. Now, this one's going to be tough to guess, all right? This is a new one we've never had on the bingo card. I will give you a hint, all right? We have a frontline support. We have a backline tank. That's my hint. Let me ask you a question, Chad. During that team fight, where would you say Reaper was in a pretty good spot? Pretty good spot, right? Playing on the cart with their tank. No, the Reaper was. The Reaper was in a good spot. They were there with their tank. This is a little bit after the team fight. The Widow was back here. The Widow was in a good spot. So if the Reaper and the Widow were in a good spot, what does that mean? The DPS were exactly where they were supposed to be. That was the bingo one for that. DPS, exactly where they are supposed to be. Get yep, Brock. Move up just a little bit. You can move up. Okay, no, don't move up now. You can move up. Tell your teammates stay on card. Tell your teammates. No, 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 here we go again. Listen, that shield, when you do that, you can, okay, you can put the shield like right there. See, look at that, what happens? What happens right there at that point? Look at the angle from the Widow. Now, when it gets down here, you have to readjust it, right? But what you did is you sent a shield up here. So watch. What is that shield gonna do? You're gonna walk right in front of that shield. 
Now you could argue, well, that means that they can't heal him. You, first of all, first of all, we know that this Kiriko right here who's running at them or trying to run away is not going to heal them. We certainly know the Moira, wherever Moira's at right now. I don't know if Moira's fading in or fading out. They ain't going to heal the Widow either. So that part's not going to matter. All right? I couldn't tell you. I, I'm actually I'm, I'm actually curious as to where this Moira's going to end up. Okay, there you go. Kind of in the middle. Better shield, by the way. I want to point out, that is a better shield. This is what I mean by that. You see how there's a bit of distance right here? This helps with your LOSs a lot better. That's a lot better of a shield location. So that when you do that consistently, that's a good spot. All right, let's head back here. No! You can do this, huge ult! Huge! That's three! Let's go! Remember, Moira can fade during the ultimate, but cannot get out of the ultimate. Yep, Rock, what a play. There we go! And there it is again, I'm telling you! Okay, next bingo card. When we make the next bingo card, remind me to put Arissa who goes into the team and ults after the team fight is lost. Happens like, happens every time. Good job. Nice play. You can move up a little bit if you want. You can move up a little bit if you'd like here. You don't have to sit in the car. No, no one, your teammates were just there. No one's going to be at that spot. You can move up a little bit. Your teammates have the cart right now. Just communicate to them if you need to. Or type if they're not in voice chat. Stay in the cart. They're still going to get off the cart, but you can at least know that you told them to get off. Okay, just here you go. Now you're giving them back map control so they can push up a little bit further and take an earlier team fight. Now we've got some ult speed. Huge EMP! Did that EMP cancel any ultimates, by the way? I didn't see. We've got the Venom Mine, huge. Oh, it's just windy in Circuit Royale. It's just a very windy day. That's why, like, if I ever miss shots on this map, it's not my fault. It's the wind. the card. Oh, no. Man card. Watch out for Arissa. Man card. Watch out for... Nice play. Nice aim. That was a good L. I like that one. Cause like you can just. Is that it? Is that it? Why did they cleanse? Wait. All right. Rewind for one second. I need to see this. Why did their Kiriko cleanse? Ah, nah. See, I'd be. I'm not gonna count that. I get it. What in the world was any of that team fight? Chat? We have a question mark that I completely forgot was a question mark. I'll give you a hint. This used to be on the bingo card, but we made it a lot easier. This used to be on the bingo card, but we made it a... There we go, mirror. Somebody got it right. I, I made it so basically, if any of the heroes are mirroring, that is now on the bingo card because now we can finally get it because everybody's been saying that. We have two characters right now. I'm sure we've had it throughout the whole game. We got it. Stop the pain. Stop the pain. 
Will they kill the sim turrets? Will they kill the sim turrets? Let's take a look. Yes. fights have been amazing. It, it's been everybody just holding left click, just staring, and just waiting for something to happen. There you go, something happened. Are you gonna ult here? Don't get, don't get javelin. Don't get javelin. Nice. Good ult. Anybody kill this sim turret? Oh, it's already dead. Everybody's just hitting their buttons. You need to go high ground? I don't, you don't necessarily have to go high ground here on attack, to be honest with you. Like, I, like, you don't necessarily have to play high ground on this map. A lot of you end up rotating around the corner and playing smart at that angle because you can win team fights easier. Like, what I mean by that is, here, I'll show you. Like, don't get me wrong. Can you play up here in high ground? Yes, but a lot of the time what happens is most of the team fights end up here. So like, if you don't play high ground, as long as you just rotate backwards correctly as a team, you can, you don't have to play the high ground there. Would I recommend starting high ground? Yeah, but it, I wouldn't say on this map it's required. Here we go. 30 seconds. The experiment nears its conclusion. Right, so you cannot rock an Orisa ult in you. Shield, good shield. Okay, I okay, I have a question for chat. Actually. Oh, that's the game. Holy crap. Good job! That was a really good game. All right, I want to ask something. That was a good game. Like, like from, you know, honestly, like from a mechanic point of view, like mecha mechanical point of view, you were playing pretty well. Like your movement wasn't too bad, your aim wasn't too bad. I think a lot of what you're doing as a tank though is you're playing like almost too static at times, which means you're kind of just staying in place. Learn to take a little bit of map control for your team. Think about it if you're on the other team and you're going up against a different tank and you're playing DPS. Do you prefer if your tank is playing back and just sitting there with you? Or do you prefer when your tank's up a little bit, which gives you opportunity to get more like value, you get what I'm saying? I think if you start doing that as tank, you'll probably see a little bit more. Like creating space is a little bit better. Next question here, chat, let's go to the bingo card. We'll talk about the bingo card for a second here. So we didn't get a broken keyboard. We didn't get goes AFK randomly. We didn't get an environmental limb. I do have a question for you, chat, because we could have a bingo. Now I'm gonna let chat decide this one, if this is a bingo or not. And I want you to let me know this in chat since you're here right now. Were you just using your rock on cooldown at random? Was there any rhyme or reason behind why you were rocking? You were just rocking, right? I noticed that like every single time rock was up, you would just rock. You just rocked. Every single time it seemed like it was up, you just you hit the rock button. I really feel like abilities used at random, I actually believe we should check that off as, as a bingo here. I believe that should be a bingo. Um, he said using it for damage doesn't seem at random. Okay, let me give you an example. If you're playing Kiriko and you use Suzu, I don't think you're using it at random, but you're not using it the correct way, and you're just using it randomly. It's like, I take four damage as Kiriko, and I use Suzu. I'm using it randomly. Now, maybe I should have better word on this, like a ability used not correctly, consistently, or something like that. All right, here's what we'll do. I ain't gonna check that box off, but I want the comments to let me know if that's a bingo, because I feel like using Rock at random is a using your ability at random, all right? But I want to see what the comments say. I'm not gonna hit the box. But if the comments decide it is, we're gonna we're gonna say that's a bingo. All right, we're gonna let that go. Uh, we didn't get Venn diagram out. There was one bastion. It wasn't a Venn diagram out. Team didn't go high ground. I didn't see many opportunities where high ground would have been as important, in my opinion. Circuit Royale, obviously, second point is high ground, but like I don't really think it's the most high ground dominant map. Even though high ground can benefit. D 
Diva pack, didn't see a Diva. Alt get eaten, eaten slash deflected, didn't see that happen. No one shoots the turrets, I didn't see it happen. Big slam, no big slam. What was the last question mark is the question here. I'll let you know what the last question mark is. The last question mark was, doesn't know what to do with Nano. That was the other question, that was the other one we had. So what I was hoping to see was someone get Nanoed and then watch them stand there and spin around and not figure out what to do with it. They didn't see it happen this game. I might have missed it, but that's what the other question mark was. And I think I was pretty happy with how this bingo card was because this is the first bingo card we've done in this series where it wasn't hero based. Like it wasn't like three of the slots were taken up by a hero. Um, I was pretty happy with how this was. We had some new ideas on here, new concepts. When it comes to whether or not that will be a bingo, we'll let the comments decide. A lot of chat seems to say we should check it off. Um, we'll see what the YouTube comments say so far. And we're obviously going to see some of the chat when, when Cuber puts it on here. Seems like we could check it off as a bingo. But we'll leave it at that, all right? We'll leave it at that. Or maybe I do just check it off. Or I don't. Maybe I do. Who knows? We're gonna go with it. We got a bingo. We got a bingo. Let me know what you would have voted on in the chat too. You're gonna see, I think the chat is in the video usually. Chat was majority. We got a bingo. Been a bit since we've had a bingo, I think. So I'm happy to see that. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit the like button so you like, if you like the video. Sub to the YouTube if you haven't. Also, if you, like play, if you like bingo videos in general, second channel, we have the Play the Game bingo on there. People have been loving those videos. And if you like ranked games and want to see some of that stuff, we've got the third channel too. So make sure to sub to all the channels if you haven't. I appreciate y'all watching. If you have any more ideas you would like to see on the bingo card, put them in the comments. Hope you all have an amazing day slash night.